Well, I'm back with more Country House Estates and much, much more on the server here. So join me for the remainder of this part of June's update tour to see what the builders have been building. Well then, a quick refresher on where we'll be going today in this part. So we're carrying on over here in the town of Breslau in the country of Bohemia. Then we'll be traveling down to Karlovy where we will see what Nell Melson has been up to over there. Apart from that, we've also got some stuff down in Danzig to see and also a trip up here to San Alexandro. And that may be our final one for some time. I'll explain later when we get there. Now to finish things off, we'll be heading back over to Whiteburg into the county of Linfordshire and we'll be seeing what Goblin have Matty have built for their comp build. So guys, let's jump into the game and see these amazing structures. So we're kicking things off here with Swedish guys comp build Schloss Mortisberg and let's go walk on up to this place along this beautiful avenue of trees. Ah, this is gorgeous. So this was the comp build for this month, a full scale recreation of Schloss Mortisberg and the surrounding area. And I've never seen it in real life. I haven't seen an image of it on the internet either, but just seeing this imposing structure with these big old drum towers sitting there imposing over us. And we've got this beautiful viewpoint straight down the center there. I can already see there is a ton of detail in here and some more of these roofs on these uh, circular buildings that just look exquisite. The way the shape blends up there towards the lanterns. Now we are quite far back still but I just like to um like to walk around these places and, and get a proper feel of it all. Let's take a little fly up in the air uh, and see what the entire landscape looks like and I wasn't expecting that. This is the first time I've looked up here um, because when we do these tours guys I do love to come in and just be uh, completely amazed by this stuff first time around but I wasn't expecting an entire moat to sit around this castle. Perfect isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous and there's the formal garden we've just walked through there. So I've seen these little cabins off to the side. I want to check out what's in this one. Nothing inside, but they do look cool. Loads of detail packed into these small little buildings. Nice use of coral there. Now this is obviously being used, uh, I think, with World Edit, uh, along with probably some debugging as well to keep it alive. Now there's some paths off around here into um, the sort of gardens. Well, not even gardens, into the woodlands. And that's a little detail that I don't see much these days. The use of mushrooms. Uh, obviously forests probably need an update in this game um, because this is all just being placed here by, you know, World Edit texturing hands and that. But to actually have this this in the base game would be incredible. Now I know Mojang wanted to for the wild update, uh, but then they sort of backtracked and, and rolled it back. But yes, birch forests would have been lovely. I am quite salty about the birch forests not being included, by the way. <laughs> Um, anyway, let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying these update tours where we are wandering around a bit more, seeing things for how they should be seen on the ground. Now I'm going to wander into here um, because I've just spied something that looks quite nice. So this is meant to be a lily pad uh, with, a, well, a lotus blossom actually I would say. A uh, very interesting use here of coral on top of a warped wood stair. Now this is gorgeous and, and a bit of bit of detailing you just wouldn't expect to see like from a distance you look at it and go wow wow uh, there's no other words to describe that right well we've gone really far off the beaten track but getting some views through these trees here is worth it and that's why a landscape is so important to complement a build a build on its own can look incredible yes but when you get views like that and just go oh, 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 uh, or what other words and noises you make when you look at a building through a tree it just makes it worth so much more than it's sitting there by itself going, hey look, I'm on a glass plane, but I digress. Anyway, should we get a bit closer? So we're now approaching the threshold into the castle itself. Walking over the bridge, I'm gonna take a quick look at the bridge. Nice, nice little design there. We've seen some interesting bridges so far in this update tour. Now we're moving on past these two gatehouses here and the castle is still growing in size and magnitude. These are again, small little buildings, but lots of detail in there. Now these, in our texture pack, these are uh, retextured birch doors. Don't really use them much, but they can be very handily used for windows, especially when you've got two block high window by one block wide. So moving up to the castle, you just have to breathe it all in and see grand use of lecterns along here on the side. Now is this, oh it is just a, oh I didn't know that was going to be under there. And we've got some other little doors and stuff around here. Cool, I like that. But this, this brings you up to a, a central courtyard section, uh, a U-shaped building and adds extra depth and magnitude to this place. Ah, incredible. Now when you're walking around, you get to see the scale of things properly because when you start flying around, you go, okay, that's a good size. But when you get around here, you go, yes, this in real life is how I would love to be just crooking my neck to look up at things, don't stare at the sun and see how it's all meant to be. Breathe it all in, breathe it in. All right, let's go look around the back before we head on off. Oh, 
Well, not even the back. I have found a nice little side section with a couple of boat houses and some small little rafts here. Let me just have a look here. Oh, incredible. Ah, this place is amazing. Now, I believe it's symmetrical because that would make sense for these types of, I want to say 17th century buildings. Um, but I didn't know add a spire around that side. That's a very cool. And the final section around the back here is a very nice long causeway, uh, complete with trees and decorations all down it. We just change the sun around so we can get that view in place. My, 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 that is beautiful beautiful it's like we're walking up to it all over again again and again and again ah incredible stuff well well done swedish um i think this is one of the top builds we've had for this comp the comp was inundated with absolutely amazing structures but this one was one of them just look at that chapel on the end there mm, incredible stuff right then well i think it's time now to head off over to Karlovy once i get out the lake here and see what mel nelson has been up to over the last month right then we're here in the main square of Karlovy, and the building i'm seeing Seen today is this one in front of me. It's written down as the Central Bank of Karlovy. Now, I believe it's actually based on the Warclaw uh, Old Town Hall in Poland. Now, this is a beautiful structure. There are so many details in here. I, I don't even know where to start with. Like the corals up here, we've got all sorts of random bits and bobs in here with jungle and mixed in with some copper lightning rods. Down through here, we have a beautiful blue clock. I do love that. Nice use of glazed terracotta and so many buttons that it works. <laughs> you get those builds where buttons just become synonymous with detailing from like 2014, but this, this is perfect. I don't believe it's completely finished yet, but it's definitely worth just showing off for the second. Let's change the sun around so we get a better view of this. Oh, would you look at that in the beautiful light of day. Now there's even more details around here and this is a clever use of smooth sandstone and cut sandstone that I've never thought about before. A nice checkered board pattern there on the side. The the roofs are interesting. Blue prismarine works exquisitely for this. I'm seeing a resurgence of that lately um, because we don't really have any, I know we have copper, but sometimes copper isn't blue enough. Um, so this works very well indeed. Mixed in there with some warp wood as well uh, for the trapdoors. It just screams medieval, which is always good because I like when things scream things. Oral windows there as well and some very heavily detailed, heavy medieval decor. So this is a great addition to the server. A very good job there, Mel Nelson. I can't wait to see how the rest of Karlovy is going. I believe there has been a complete redesign in mind here. Now let's move on to the town of Karlhaven. Uh, Karlshaven? Yes, Karlshaven Key and Harbour, as I got written down here, uh, built by Gunkvink. So I forgot to mention this on the map, but Gunkvink has been building over here in the Scandinavian Scandinavian lands of Kalmar, and this is his latest offering, an entire town. This is Karlshaven, based on, I would say, Copenhagen, really, over in the Danish lands, or Denmark, as it's also known. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. We've got a few things to go around and have a look at. Uh, it's mainly based on the Newhaven, which I imagine means New Harbour uh, in Copenhagen from around about 1675. And there's also something called the Charlottenburg Slot, which we'll need to go have a look at as well. I'm not entirely sure where it is. Oh, it might be this behind me over there, that castle looking thing. Right, well, let's have a little wander around the streets here and see what we can breathe in. My, 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 that is a lot of details on that building there. Incredible stuff. Stuff. Now, I don't even know where to begin with this one, so I'm going to probably go off in here into the sea and have a look. Oh, wow, I've never seen so much diorite used in a wall before. Oh, that's a lie. I have used more, but this is nice. Good heavy detailing on there. What have we got around here? More heavy detailing going on. Very deep windows. Lots and lots of deep windows around here, um, but it's becoming quite a nice looking town. We're getting some size and scale going on. Uh, buildings are everywhere. I'm flying around a bit too much, but these are cool. Oh, that's a great idea for benches. The use of of levers is a very, very, very ingenious one. I believe I see it up there as well, some pediment designs, which are best viewed from a distance. Now there's a couple more things along here that I like the look of, including this harbour wall, which has piling down the outside, but you can see behind it's been backfilled with stuff. And the use of the mossy stuff in there as well really does help add to this feel of it being a harbour that has sat here for quite some time. And we seem to have a mirroring building on the end here, matching that one over there, but this time in white and much more diorite on here again. Now when we come around this corner here, I wonder what we'll see, but wow, this place is looking good. Lots of orange on that one there. Oh, and again, very 
very ingenious ways of doing the pediments. That's what is that was trapped um triplet wires. Wow, okay, nice. Take note on that one, guys. This is all done with world edit, but that's pretty cool. Never thought of doing that before. You can see this place is starting to feel nice and town like. Good use of walls here to make the trunks of these trees and also the ferns and the grass. We're seeing a lot more of that lately. So I'm gonna take a look over that way and see what these uh, warehouses are all about. So I'm on board this little uh, schooner here and wow, again, it's interesting use of details on this one. So to get a nice pattern in the walls, you've gone for the use of acacia gates. Um, and yeah, I've never thought of using that before, but it does work to give these nice impressions of different colored bricks in there. And the same over here on this side with this other warehouse. Lovely ship. Um, I wonder if it's one of yours, Gunks. If it is, great stuff. Although it may be one of Adam's. He does like to build random ships everywhere. But yeah, this town is coming together really nicely and it's one of the newest locations on here. We also do have another town to look at today, which is brand new. And that is the town of Danzig. So we'll be there later on. Now, this last um, last little place on here, Charlottenburg, uh, Schlott, which I think is that over there. I do have a map. I shall consult my map. I was correct. It is this building over there. Right, let's head on over. Okay, so this is part of a castle complex or a palace. Uh, now, apparently there is a bit of interior inside. So how do we get in? Hello? Let, let, can I get in? Ooh, this is an interesting fence design. Lots of use of carpet behind there, but you've also got the vertical lines going in as uh, chains and use of candles on top. Mm. These details are very ingenious. Um, right, aha, here we go. So this is the back section of the castle. If we wander on in here into the central courtyard, we are gonna be greeted with a wall of fur. Now that looks really nice. Love the use of details on there. Uh, and there's another bit of castle through there. But I think if we go on inside that open door there, we're gonna see some interior. This door is not open. <laughs> How do we get inside? So after careful um, consideration for which blocks I was going to destroy, I destroyed nothing. I, I don't want to risk touching any debug stuff. I just used the word edit command through, and that um, that takes you through walls uh, as a nice way of getting in and out of places. I probably could have come for the roof. Speaking of the roof, impressive. Uh, but this is a small little picture gallery. Uh, well, sorry, statue gallery. So we have the discus thrower here. I can see that. I think, oh yeah, that's a very good use of a discus up there. Interesting. Um, I like the windows and the walls. We've got some paintings all around as well. Pernius slaying Medusa. Ah, there he is holding the um, the head of Medusa. And then we also have over here the Free Graces. Ah, oh, what beautiful faces these lovely women have. I don't know if they're actually called Grace. I think I may have misunderstood this. Uh, but still, very nice. Love the statues and I love this place. Well done, Gook. Welcome to the team again. And it's good to have someone on here who's already building another Scandinavian town. I know that Kalmar is growing in strength, which I do say with gritted teeth and also a, a slight discontent, but still, Whiteberg will reign supreme as always. So, speaking of Whiteberg, should we go see Goblins and Matty's castle? Right, so Goblin and Matty's offering here for the, the competition that we've been showing you so many builds of is Castle Ross. Now, Castle Ross is based on, I believe it's uh, the Don Robin Castle in Scotland, uh, and it's a chateau-esque 19th century structure made famous around Linfordshire for its stags. Now, you're probably wondering, dear, are they really a Minecraft thing? Have you got mods installed? Uh, no, we do not have mods installed, but these are retextured horses using a special texture pack that changes them to deer or stags. That's a lot of stags just chilling over here. Uh, hi guys, how are you? How are you all doing? Are you just waiting? You are just waiting. Now, while we're staring at these stags, these very, very interesting looking stags, can I? Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit on the back of one. You can see over there the pinnacles, the spires of Castle Ross. Now, let's go move a little bit closer. Can I? I cannot ride you. You are just a stag. Now, I'm, I'm wondering which way we should go. I can see a tower over there. But I can also see this path through here which leads up a very nice avenue now what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump up and show you a quick overview of this place there we go ah oh, incredible incredible stuff now i'm guessing we're going to wander down that way because i think that gate's closed off for a reason behind us is the village of endersnore endersnore elder snore um not snore at all we've been there before including on the pub crawls so we're not going to venture that way just yet but let's have a little jump over here ah oh, now look at that structure. This place is a little bit framey. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we are currently operating at 20 FPS, so uh, I do apologize for any screen tearing. So we're gonna go past a gatehouse here, uh, which looks to be a nice rounded drum towered structure. Uh, trespassers will be shot. Am I am I class as a trespasser? Uh, we shall definitely, definitely try out 
this uh, this little instruction there. So I've jumped the gate and we've now looked at this little tower building, which is really quite gorgeous. Uh, I like the roof on it. I like everything about it. It's a good colour. So we're now inside the complex and we're going to move on up to the main house. Past this avenue of trees, jumping as we go, cascading up this beautiful hillside. And you can look over here and see about two FPS. <laughs> because I don't know what's happening, but still. Imagine these as beautiful pictures, as screenshots. Gorgeous. Mmm, beautiful. Ah, oof. This is just me making noises to try and fill in the gaps between where my frame's meant to be. Right, with a slight adjust to the render distance, we should be able to carry on now uninterrupted but yeah let's get a little bit closer around the front of this castle it's a very long walk i mean there's a lot of opportunities for someone to shoot me if i was trespassing by now so i must be okay um lots of details on here lots of different colors which i like that definitely gives this aspect of like a romanticized medieval castle which was all all the fashion in the sort of mid to late victorian times uh i think of uh, what's it called balmoral in scotland as well which was the queen victoria's favorite residence well actually no osborne house was anyway look at this place ah oh, it's beautiful isn't it so we've got this very inviting castle with a big fantasy tower another one there lovely clock on it um and a big old driveway oh is that a little a little watchtower behind so you can watch all of the stags as you go on out on your hunts i have got to say this is incredible and i may or may not have voted for it on the competition <laughs> uh, but still there is an interior so let's have a little wander around inside here and see some heavy victorian decker oh god oh sorry i just stubbed my toe um this place is gorgeous beautiful statues of armor so much heavy heavy medieval victorian decor 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 <laughs> and there's also the statue to the the one great prime minister who has been reigning now for 472 years and a beautiful i think is this a piano no it's just a serving desk at an angle which is an interesting choice wow ceiling beautiful everything in here is gorgeous i don't even know where to begin um at the beginning no so is there more over that side how do we get into there or is this the only interior if it is i'm very happy with it uh, that seems to be a very black room in there no guys this is absolutely exquisite impressive disgustingly beautiful um i'm gonna look at the grounds quickly before i have another stubbed toe moment here um let's have a wander down this side oh my god well i know you guys came second on the comp but yes 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 i can see why sorry i stubbed my toe again ah oh, that is gorgeous there is nothing about this place that just doesn't feel right this is all beautiful ah and probably a good reason why i never finished my comp because i went oh um yeah this one definitely is going to win not that i even saw it i just knew it was going to exist because matty and goblin are exquisite uh the statue surrounded by wubs looking impressive uh, and over here is a greenhouse through a garden, an angled little maze with planters and flower beds all the way around. This, I, I, I'm lost for words, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm just going to make noises instead in, in the idea of a chimpanzee. Um, ooh, uh, mm, yes, and so forth. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. Huge tea party going on inside here in this lovely... I need another word than lovely. Lovely just keeps falling out of my mouth. Oh my god. Beautiful. Well, let's take leave... Oh, let's try not to go into the roof. As we gaze back across the castle itself. Let's sit here. I'm going to sit down. Uh, I seem to have sat on top of the chair. Well, anyway, guys, let's go on off to Danzig and see what Nordhaus has been up to. Well, here we are then, guys, in another harbourside town. This is Danzig, or Gahanst, or however you wish to pronounce it. It is based on the version of the town as it was in 1900. Now, there is a lot to go see and walk around again, but this is built by Nordhaus, who is one of our latest builders again on the server. Lovely buildings indeed. We are seeing some absolutely exquisite stuff today. And I know I don't build much, but these guys make up for it with their incredible incredible buildings oh, i love this this is nice this little corner here is absolutely perfect i am stuck in a loop of just saying absolutely perfect but still that's gorgeous i like uh, little corners like this in a city you can just come and sit under this tree and look across all of those buildings over there those warehouses that stuff that's very 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 well done with those big frames uh this is where i take my leave no we, we need to walk we need to walk i know the coffee's wearing off i know everything's falling apart in your mind but please we must oh good use of scaffolding there for windows very good use indeed now that is 
is a very interesting technique to use if you're building in survival and you haven't got access to let's say the debug stick this helps add window frames to something that doesn't already have window frames so please take note write that down but still let's have a little look at the entirety of this place i'm going to zoom on up and zoom on out for a moment there is a good portion done already. This bridge is cool. I like the way you've got the tram tracks going through it. Uh, they open up to go through this gatehouse here. Uh, you've got some buildings over there as well. Oh, blimey, there's loads to see, right? Well, let's carry on wandering down this way first. So we've made it down onto the quayside. Cool little paddle boats, but it's nice when you can put stuff underneath a seawall. This is a good texture, very good texture indeed. It's always hard to get a nice wall texture to look sort of different, but uniform as it goes along so it's a good texturing in there as i said it's some interesting framed buildings over there. let me change the sunlight the sunlight does not change in our favor but still that looks great and then you've got these big tops up there which will have the winches in to move things up and down throughout the warehouse it's incredible right let's move on back upstairs and see what else there is to see along here so i've come down to the end and just saw this magnificent structure laying here i wonder if it was a warehouse or something originally it's got these almost aural window bits or like a bay window sticking out the side there that's cool i don't know too much about um danzig other than where it's located in the world and is this no it's not an observation place is it is that a telescope i don't know it might be a flag or a chimney uh, let me know in the comments below what that is north house but that's really cool now this is an interesting little building very nicely detailed for the size i think it fits in perfectly well so i saw more down here so let's go back over to that gate and wander on through all right so let's take this tram track through here so we've come out on to the other side oh there was a little path up there we could have taken as well oh well and just more buildings looking exquisite and going on down to a very nice large town hall you can just see that the amount of detail in there is atrociously incredible um but here's a thing so in our texture pack uh hay bales have been retextured to be slightly more usable uh, i mean without them on that would look fine still, it'd just be a bit yellower. But I think that looks like a nice detail, good use of hay bales there. Um, not much more else to say, to be honest. I'm I'm just, I'm overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I've seen today. Like everything that comes next is just like more toe stubbornly great builds. All of this is beautiful. Uh, I look forward to seeing how the rest of this town evolves over the coming months because this is a fresh build. There's already more here than there is in Whiteburg City. Cries in Whiteburg City build update server videos god what happened to them um anyway we're going to end our tour around here uh, before we move on to san alexandro and see what bergie has been doing oh not only that you've done this at an angle nordhouse yeah incredible absolutely incredible well guys that has been danzig for now and danzig for later will be coming over in next month but for now i'm gonna say for now one more time but for now let's go on over to san alexandro for possibly the last time in a while let's go well guys welcome to san alexandro the city you once loved is um no more uh, welcome to should i say the pit bergy has decided rightfully so i think not that the other layout was bad to completely rebuild san alexandro into a city even more impressive than the last uh, it shall be moved about everything shall be readjusted rechanged and sorted out was that it no this is what's left at the moment now what we're going to be looking at today is the post office here built in a beautiful spanish mission style completed in 1912 and it's just gorgeous isn't it i do love these types of buildings now there's also another one on the roster today and that is a toilet store so we're going to try and find that later on don't mind me i'm just going to walk through the flower beds because i have no respect for flowers uh but no still this is beautiful i like the way you've got all of these different levels going on which makes sense for a post office a lot of sorting and stuff will be underground in these small little places is that actually stuff in there oh what hello i'm gonna go on in well hi guys don't mind me just breaking through a window there actually is a sorting office under here i could have possibly used a door no there was no door oh okay wow this is good detail in here, Bergie. I like the use of, um, so for the ceiling, for this, uh, what's it called, Artex? No, Artex is asbestos field. This is nice, nice little details on the roof, on the ceiling. Um, I might actually be called Artex. Anyway, let's get back outside and carry on looking at this place. I feel like this tour has taken a step towards the deranged because I, as I said, my caffeine levels are dropping heavily. I've just had two, uh, but that's not enough apparently. Anyway, we're around the back here and we can see all of the fleet parcel delivery vehicles, also known as UC Mail. The United Colonies mail trucks are going around delivering stuff throughout the entire country. Bergie, you are great builder and this is fabulous now i cannot wait to see what happens to san alexandro in the future uh but as we can see the quality is only going up and up and up now where is this toilet store 
Right, well, I think I found the toilet store. So there is some map art up here that um, Solar has designed, uh, and it's looking great. Oh, actually, no, there's some in there as well. This is a motor car sales place. Hello. Ooh, you have a very interesting roof in there. Ceiling's good. I, I, this is something new that I've only really noticed you do, Bergie. I don't think anyone else has really been doing it lately. Ceiling designs. Please, we need more of these. More, more, more. So we've got some bricks going on over here. What's Someone just filling in the road. Yeah, that's actually, I think that is what's happening. Someone's just gone, right, we need more bricks in the row. Just start lobbing them in there. This here is the toilet shop. Now, Solar has spent a long time making that. Uh, you can even see the Greek, the, the neo-Greek detail around the base of the basin there. But let's go on in and see see if Bergie's selling any toilets. Ah, here we go. Here is a lavatrine. Uh, we've got some more through the back here. And is there anything in the back? Hello? No, just, just darkness, my old friend. Ah, uh, still, this is a lovely detail and not something you really see in any Minecraft city. But a toilet shop is very much needed for that day-to-day -day usage of toilets. Was that the post office? No, we've seen the post office. Well, guys, there we have it. That has been June's server update tour in two parts. It's been manic, it's been hectic, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing the sights and sounds of Terrace Imperatoria. Um, yes, I need to bring out that other video on how it's all sort of laid out. Um, we'll do that soon. We will do that soon when we get a bit more time. But let me know in the comments below, ladies, gentlemen, and all the rest, how you found this video and how you already all enjoy these server update tours. If you have any comments on how they should be done, let me know as well. We're always open to ideas on how to change these things up to make them more enjoyable for yourselves and for us selves. But until next time, guys, remember, get inspired and get building, and I'll see you soon. Later. I wonder what's down these stairs then. Is that, is that a bit of blood over there? Oh, yeah, it is a spot of blood. I wonder if this is where they keep some of the deer. No entry under any circumstances. Hmm. Well, that's not going to stop me now, is it? Let's have a look inside. Oh, another door. Oh, turn back. Final warning. Well, I'm going to go through. Let's see what's on the other side of this door. He has seen you. He will come. It is too late. Wait, who is this? Oh no. Oh no. You are next. Um, quickly, run. I don't like this. 